Okay, so here's another one of these uh, projects. <laughs> so, uh, oh, what is this? These crypto, oh, that's an audit, uh, snow trace. So right now the other BNB finance, minor finance video is being processed, but I'm actually really liking these projects. The problem is again, like how much time do you have before the contract starts running out of money. So that's why you can't go too crazy with these things. So, it's, you know, it's still useful to try it. You know, see what happens. But, uh, <clears throat> whatchamacallit. So, this one pays 8% daily. Now, this thing says that it's got some kind of thing where it actually starts penalizing you if you accumulate too much money or, and therefore, don't compound. So I think maybe, so now that I say this, I think I realize maybe they just made it so that like you only collect up to 24 hours worth of rewards and then you just don't get anything more. So technically you lose money. But there's also a thing where I haven't taken profit yet, but apparently you're supposed to be compounding six times a week and then withdrawing profit once a week. So I, I it supposedly it lowers your daily APR. So I guess we'll have to see. Uh, tomorrow I'll be adding two new, new two more of these projects from the same guy, but they're like on different branches. Uh, but you know uh, what you call they don't have that penalty. So to me, this thing doesn't have a penalty. So I don't know. I might try it just to see what happens. I might just take profit just to well first just test, test that it works, and then two just to see what actually happens. So I actually lose you know APR. Uh, okay, so basically again, not much to say. Uh, yesterday morning, so basically 24 hours ago, when MDV told me about it, or maybe it was two days ago, this was at like 11,000 AVAX. Now it's almost at 15,000, so it's growing like crazy. Uh, you get 8% a day. Uh, where is there? They had like a fax somewhere, right? Oh. Oh, that's right, because they ha have to do the, what's this creator contest thing? Oh. Yeah, I don't care about this. Uh, oh, where's the close button? Uh, so they had to do a white paper. Great. So, this thing is a little too big. I like big text, but not that big. Okay. Uh, okay, so you get 8% every day. You can do a referral for 12% of their total investment. I'm not going to give it to you because just whatever. Just let the project be sustainable. So just do whatever you got, guys. Reinvest your daily rewards to hire more things that will not get out of the ground da, 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 da. so basically you put in avax you get back out avax um okay so six percent go okay okay so when you compound what there's no fee taken when you reinvest your rewards okay so when you actually collect your money you get 6% and then they get 2% for a marketing wallet. I mean, they kind of do need that because obviously this relies on other people coming in. I mean, it's not much different really from Toon Forks or Titano Forks or whatever it relies on more and more people coming in until you get some kind of utility going. And I think for, for obvious reasons, this has no utility. There is no fee taking when you reinvest. So I'm not really sure how many of these projects... I mean, those, these will be popping up all over the place, so we'll be covering a lot of these, but the problem is, at some point, I think it's going to collapse. So again, just make sure you keep that in mind. But of course, when you uh, compound, then, you know, there's no fees, so you get the full thing. Uh, okay, uh, they work as a key, they're going to take part one time, they're too often to toss your mind, therefore, you... Okay. Uh, okay, so I think maybe, see, now that I think about it, maybe there is nothing like that, so you could just, so I don't know, I'm actually going to try it, I'm going to actually take profit, right, what's the gas, for you? no trade, what's the stupid fucking Krabata game, yeah, of course, these, I want these fucking guys to go away, man, these Krabata fucking assholes, alright, they, they are the sole reason why AVAX is shit right now, and has been for several months, because single-handedly that shit project. I mean, it's not a shit project, but I'm just getting pissed because the fucking AVAX fees are out of control. Like, I see something like that, 126 gas. I don't even bother doing anything on AVAX. Like, I just don't even bother. Because it's literally going to cost you like 10 20 $30. I mean, what, why, might as well just use fucking Ethereum then. 
Taking profits too all exhausting rather than decrease your return in the short and long run. Yeah, so now because now that I'm seeing this again, reading this again, and doing this video for you people, <laughs> you people, uh, I'm actually thinking, yeah, I, I think this is just a, a little marketing gimmick. There's actually no penalty. Uh, please note that your will decrease. Oh, okay. No, wait. Please note that your will your subsequent claim. Uh, so it says it's, there's a me okay. So maybe not. So there's some kind of mechanism in here. There's such a small. See, when I put money in first, I still was getting. I started with eight percent a day. Uh, okay. It only goes to two. Da, da, da. Well, the DAP actually shows up to three now. Uh, <clears throat> well, sure that TVL constantly increases. Excuse me. I don't know. I'm going to actually claim and just find out what happens. So probably later tonight when the gas fee, hopefully it'll be around 40, 50 on AVAX, and then I'll try it out. Because I already compounded this morning when I woke up, so. Oh, always be rewarded. What prayers are from rugging? Uh, okay, so they've also renounced their contracts. Uh, yeah, da, da, da. Uh, passion, professional marketing, okay. Oh yeah, and that's the other thing too. They have like three people here or something. Official links, and then, I don't know, you can look at their links over here. For some reason, the, the Discord link, I have to copy and paste. They don't even have a Facebook. So, I don't know, you could try this out. Obviously, I'm already in this project. I'm adding it to the thing. So, so right now, I might have to do six, one. So basically, one withdrawal a week, and then you compound the other six days. But later tonight, I'm going to actually hit the collect button, right, instead of rehire, which is compounding. I'm going to hit the collect button. I'm going to actually see if the APR actually goes down. Uh, oh, also, it does say here that there's an 8% deposit fee as well. So, you probably, you probably keep that in mind. In fact, the BNB might even have a deposit fee as well. Uh, I don't even see that anywhere here. They probably should do a, a deposit fee. Yeah. Anyway, I gotta actually. Keep, the other thing is, I gotta keep track of how much. Oh my god. Uh, BSC. Okay. I wanna keep track of how much BNB is in the BNB miner contract because they're the oldest. So let me just make a note of that here. I'm on Chrome, so eleven nine two zero three five. I think it just went up by almost one Binance coin because it used to say 1191, I think. I'll have to check. Oh, I just wrote the number. Uh, BNB on BNB Miner, 10.09 a.m. for 11, 2022. All right, so we'll take a look at that. <clears throat> All right, so I'm with that. And then, there, of course, they're running some, I guess this is a Google ad. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know about this. This is a picture. This is a picture that leads you to ClickBank. Oh, that's interesting. He's running a ClickBank ad. I haven't heard seen that in a long time. 1868, 876. So this is going up. Okay. So we actually compare this to BNB Miner. I want to actually take a look at this. Uh, switch to Binance Smart Chain. Yeah. Oh, that is another thing. I didn't mention this in the last video, but this is kind of annoying. You have to keep refreshing the page manually. It does. It, it all updates itself automatically too. But I tend to just refresh the page. So, so they're all kind of like that because they're all probably forking from this project. <clears throat> oh, there you go. It just updated, and someone just withdrew a couple percent. So you know, that's to be expected. Switch back to Ruby Mine, and of course, here we are. Okay. So I already looked over at everything. Yep. So I think that'll be it for uh, this video. I think the next one will be Scrub Finance. I think that's a Tomb Fork. So we'll take. I'll take a quick look at that. Make sure because I think it still has like 3.6 million TVL or something. So we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I am in this project as well. Not a whole lot because 
I would not add any more than like a thousand bucks to each of these projects because again, once the contract runs out to zero, then I assume the project dies. Like it'll still keep going, but the problem is no one's going to invest in a project with very little, you know, money in there, right? And then you got other people who have obviously been compounding like crazy, withdrawing large sums of money. So, you know, uh, <laughs> so these are definitely short-term projects, right? I'll make sure I keep a no on all these types of minor no projects that these are all very short-term plays. So you got to whatever. Uh, let me see. Maybe there's a way I can find out when this thing launched. Uh, he's using an old Twitter account. Uh, okay, well, there's just, too, there's just too many tweets here, which is actually a good thing. All right, but this is, this is supposed to be about two and a half days old, so you're in very, very early. So anyway... Check out rubymine.money, you know, this will be added to the playlist as well. And eventually as these uh, minor projects die out, right, you know, I'll, I'll have to remove it from my playlist. Uh, and unfortunately, that means I'll have to remove, like, you know, SeaWorld, right, Cannaverse World, because Georgie, like, or I guess, I, I guess I can't say this on YouTube, but there is a certain type of developer for some reason in a specific country that just, like, can't just, they just fuck up every project. I don't know what, what it is. To be honest, I think it's because they just lack God in their lives. That's really what's holding them back. And it shows. And it shows. So, sadly, I will have to eventually remove Cannaverse World. I mean, it'll technically go on forever, so it's just free money. But, uh, obviously, I don't want people investing in a dead project. Especially when the dev is like, yeah, I give up. You know? But, I mean, at least it's still make, it's, I'm still in profit with it. So, it's just free money. But, you know, <clears throat> that's, just, <clears throat> that's just how it goes. All right, let me manage. Uh, let me manage all these clowns. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll just do that. Oh, I still have another free guy. All right, there we go. We'll do that too. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's it. So I'll see you next video. It'll be Scrub Finance. I don't even know what that is. I think that's a tune for. So we'll just take a quick look. So it'll be a little bit back to whatever, and then I'll be done for the day because I got to exercise. I got. I actually have stuff to do today, so I just need to try to pump out these videos real quick. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, you know, grow the channel. I mean, channel growth is really slowed down, but that's because everyone's just moving on. And I thought crypto is under so much pressure that really people just don't want to deal with freaking crypto right now. That sucks, but whatever.